June was absolutely disastrous on the reading front for me. And I think that's actually okay for the most part. I had a lot going on as per usual. It's the summer, you guys know how it goes. And about two weeks ago, I had a lot of trouble with my anxiety and it was just a horrible, horrible week. And it was very, very difficult to do much of anything. So I did not read and and like I said, I'm mostly okay with that. So uh, what did I read in June, you might ask? I didn't finish any books last month, and I'm only really upset about The Buried Pyramid, which was my read-along in June. What I did finish was the amazing and uh, well-loved graphic novel, The Lumberjanes by Noel Stevenson, and this was everything I could possibly have asked for in a graphic novel. It was funny and smart. I love the way the Lumberjanes talk, just in general, but I really appreciate the way they kind of insert, like, historical women in as just it's amazing i love the lumberjanes and this is all that i actually finished in the month of june i don't want to go too much into the buried pyramid which is one of the books i was working on last month for my read-along um i am also doing a read-along wrap-up that will be up either this week or next week so look for that for more information about what happened with the buried pyramid because it's very interesting. So I started The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon on my vacation, and it was wonderful and magical and everything I wanted, but it's very long. And so I have, this is like the book that I've been reading, and I've made a lot of progress. I'd say I'm, I'm about two thirds of the way through almost, and I am excited to see what's happening because I know something's going on that I don't know about. And the only other book I'm going to talk about in this wrap-up is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I am doing a buddy read for this with a couple of booktube ladies. I really didn't get a chance to get into this much. I know that I think two people have already finished it, so I will definitely be continuing to read this at some point. Since I didn't read a lot of books last month, I thought it might be good to just put my wrap-up and my TBR together. and. So here's what's on my TBR for July. Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, not really. I kind of had a revelation last month and this is partially why I didn't read a lot and what I figured out is that when I forced myself to read certain books based on you know something I decided earlier, I don't want to read them as much books that I was really excited about last month, I didn't even like put my hands on. I read Station Eleven this past week. I just randomly picked it up and finished it. I started it after I bought the book, um, shortly after it first came out, and it was such a great experience to just pick up a book and read it that I was kind of taken with the idea of just picking up a book. So um, after I finished Station Eleven, the book that I picked was Phyllida by Andre Brink. Phyllida is a slave in the 1800s living in South Africa and basically she decides that the son of the man who owns her promised to free her because she was having his babies and he never did and so she complains and it kind of is all about what happens after she complains to the authorities because at this point in South Africa there are authorities who are taking complaints from slaves. What are the repercussions of Phyllida deciding that, you know, she should be freed, she was told she was going to be freed, and kind of taking her life into her own hands. I am going to continue reading uh, The Shadow of the Wind. I, I think I'm going to finish it soon. I'm, I'm trucking through it. After I finish those two books, the only book I'm definitely reading is um, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Other than that, I have absolutely no plans, and we'll just see what happens. I think I might be a lot happier this way. I know a lot of people talk about getting rid of TBRs, but I never considered it because I love making my monthly TBR videos so much. Um, so I think maybe instead of that, I'll have to find something else to do that I enjoy, maybe like a currently reading video, and I don't know. Hopefully that'll work out for me. If you have any recommendations, let me know. And please do tell me what you've been reading lately, what you've been loving in the comments. And I will see you later. Bye.